What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we got some pretty fun cars. We're gonna get out of get out of this hangar here and drive around. So let's go ahead and open this hangar and see what we got inside here. what is going on guys welcome back to the channel so today we got a pretty special one we're going to be taking out some of these cars here you see probably won't be taking out the plane today but the three cars in here we're going to get uncovered and fire up and take them for a little drive and this one here is pretty special so we're going to kind of show you around this one so we're at the airport down the road from the shop and there's definitely some pretty special cars here i know in that hangar right there there is a gt40 and there's definitely some cool stuff laying around here. So let's kind of get into today's video. So once again, we got no one holding the camera. So you guys are going to have to bear with me here. So we got a 1929 Model A on 32 rails. It's got 350 Chevy and underneath it's got a really trick suspension. So let's take a look at that. So we're going to walk you over here to the back under here it might be hard to see but it has corvette corvette uh independent rear suspension it's also got a really nice looking exhaust system so we're gonna fire this puppy up and take her for a little cruise so let's go ahead and hop in here as you can see we got no outside door locks so climb in here definitely pump the grass a few times because it's a carbureted engine let's see if she'll start definitely been a while since this is run all right come on baby this might be a short video if none of these start come on definitely a good running car though once she's fired up so let's go ahead and pull her out of the garage She definitely looks a little prettier out here in the sun. Gorgeous, gorgeous green paint. Really a beautiful truck. Very nice tan interior. So we're gonna let her warm up a little bit and we'll pull the other two cars out and then we'll take them all for drives. All right, now for the grand reveal, even though it's probably not the most special car in here. Ready? Model T Ford. Now, probably the saddest thing today is that the owner said specifically no burnouts, no ruining the tires in this, which is easy to do because it's got pretty stout little 350 and it does not weigh anything. So these are basically kit cars that you can buy from like Speedway Motors and other companies like that. But they're definitely a riot to drive, especially for 350 in it. They get up and go. So let's see if it'll start up. Same situation here, hasn't run in a long time. So we're gonna let the electric fuel pump prime and see if she'll fire. And the battery's disconnected. Okay, so we got the battery plugged in. We're gonna hop in here, let the electric fuel pump prime. Give her a couple squirts on the gas down here and see if she wants to fire up. Oh, key's on the other side. This thing definitely sounds good with a little lumpy cam in it, and it's definitely fun to drive. But that leaves one more, so let's go take a look at the last car we got here. 
So this thing's kind of unusual. A lot of you might go, oh, well, it's just a 32 coupe three window. Well, you'd be right, but you also wouldn't because this entire body is a hand-built custom-made thing. It also has a 350 Chevy. And then we got independent rear suspension out of like a Ford Expedition or Explorer or something like that. No, I'm sorry. Out of like a Ford Thunderbird, like a 90s Thunderbird. And this thing's definitely a unique experience. So let's go ahead and fire this. Let's go turn the T off and we'll fire this thing. So yeah, as you guys can see, this thing's obviously got no door handles, nothing like that. But inside here, hopefully it works. We've got a little door popper to open up the latches. Now, the only thing that might make this thing a little more fun is if it had a manual transmission, but it's definitely a really cool car. So let's, hopefully it starts. Let's see here. There we go. Blinker's on. It's definitely been, well, it hasn't really been chopped because the body's custom made, but definitely got little windows and stuff not the world's greatest visibility so let's see if we can go ahead and pull this thing out without hitting too much perfect we'll let her warm up for a little bit and then we're gonna take them all for a cruise Okay, so we got them all out in the sun looking pretty. We got to pick one we want to drive first. Let's go start with the Model A, probably my favorite one. Let's start with this. So let's go ahead and hop in this puppy and take her for a little spin. Okay, so we're just going to go cruise around the airport in it, see how she does. Having the Roadster top on this thing is pretty nice because you get a little bit of wind in your hair, but it's not overwhelming. I definitely wish this car had a manual in it. Let's go take her, see what it's all about. I wish we were allowed to go open her up a little bit on the runway, but I definitely don't think that's going to happen. So we'll do the best we can to have some fun. Oh, definitely needs to warm up a little bit. I definitely say out of the three that this is probably the most, well, not the, the bucket's one of the more fun to drive, but this is definitely the nicest one. And I mean, it's a good looking car. I love the green. The green is a great color. We're gonna go around in the back here. And it's fast. I mean, it's got a 350 Chevy in it, so it's pretty quick. It gets up and goes, but it's smooth. And with the Corvette rear end, it makes all the difference in the world. That really makes the ride just perfect in this thing. But yeah, you can take this thing on the highway. It cruises 60 miles an hour, no problem. It is a great, 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 great driving car. We're just going to cruise around the airport a little more. Especially on a nice day like this, this is one of the better ones to drive. Hey boy. You guys can't see, but there's a little dog over there. Maybe in another video we'll make a run down the down the runway and kind of open her up and see what she'll do, but definitely not in this one. I was told no smoking the tires in any of the cars. So that's gonna make this not quite as interesting, but we'll still have some fun. Let's go take one of the other ones out for a little cruise around. All right, on to vehicle number two. We got the 350 Chevy Model T. This thing's definitely a little more of a hot rod than the Model A is. Let's see if she'll start up. Now, if this thing had a four speed, it would be amazing, but it doesn't, so we'll live.
yourself in trouble on one of these rigs pretty quickly. Especially because they don't have the world's greatest brakes, but if they're good enough, you'll stop, maybe, eventually. Okay, last but not least, let's hop in this thing. Hopefully the door jams things work. Pop the door open. Get on in. Hope she starts. Most likely, probably, maybe if we're lucky. Let's see here. Oh, there we go. Our luck is good today. Thing's got electric windows down here. I mean, it's pretty fancy. And it definitely will cruise on the highway. And especially with the rear, it doesn't have, I think that one has a slightly better independent rear suspension being it has Corvette suspension, but this one is still awfully good. So let's go ahead and take this for a cruise. As you can see, there's not, you can't see a lot out of this thing. It's kind of got a low chopped roof and can't see a ton, but let's take it for a spin. Okay, I'll throw this puppy in drive. It's kind of got a unique shifter the way you do it. And this thing's quick too. Recently rebuilt the rear suspension on it. Because it was the rear end would kind of sway around a bit. When you were when you when you'd really get on it and it broke the tires loose, the rear end would sway. So we recently rebuilt it, put all new bushings in and everything, so we should be a-okay. This thing with the top is nice because you can drive it when it's cold or warm. It's got heat, AC, whatever you need. Cruise on the highway, 70, 80 miles an hour, no problem. The owner actually, when he bought it, we're in California right now. He, where did he get it? Out in Nebraska or somewhere like that, and drove it all over, all around the state. Drove it all the way home. So it's definitely been tested on the road, and it'll handle the highway no problem. Just like any modern car will, really. And it's comfy too, you got these big comfy seats. It really is a nice car, so we're gonna cruise her around a little bit and feel it out. And especially if you wanted to get really fancy and put like a sniper fuel injection on it, you could cruise this thing around all day long, no problem. And it's pretty fast too, not that you should be hot rodding it, but it gets up and goes, no problem. In fact, I don't know if you'll keep up with the bucket, but it's definitely, it's definitely a quick car. I don't want to ins upset anybody, but we'll give you a quick little acceleration. And I don't think the speedometer is working because it definitely just went faster than 20. That might need a little addressing because we definitely just went a little faster than 20 miles an hour. 
So I think that's just gonna about do it for today. We took everyone for a little drive, got the fluids moving, you know, got everything warmed up a little bit. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. And if you wanna see more cars like this, hopefully there'll be some more on the channel. So maybe later we'll take out the airplane and do a few crash landings. So anyways, we'll see you guys on the next one.